Today is our second annual MPC poster presentations in which we highlight our students who this summer did summer research experiences, including internships, micro internships at UC Santa Cruz, the CSU Monterey Bay, and here at MPC. There is a lot of support, mainly um, Tom Raybould and Tracy Catania. Those, like, they have helped me so much with engineering. Tom has helped me get these, this project and other projects in the past. This is why we're teaching here, is to, is to enable students to do original work and, uh, and solve problems that uh, society has to deal with. An engineering instructor, engineers are problem solvers. And, you know, a lot of students kind of, they go through school and they don't really know why they're taking these classes. And so I'm really excited to be able to bring opportunities for students to really apply what they're learning in the classroom in the real world. During high school, I actually entered into a dual enrollment program where I was able to take high school classes and college classes at the same time. And the first time I took it was my second year. And it was actually a computer science class with Tom Revo. And that class was really fun. It really sparked my interest. For this summer, I was working with a doctor, with Dr. Seth Rubin under his lab. And I was specifically with my mentor, Shiva, which was a postdoc. My project involved analyzing enzymes that are responsible for regulating the different phases of the cell cycle. If these enzymes go unregulated, we basically have uncontrolled cell division, which is essentially the underlying mechanism of cancer is. The opportunities I had were all the different resources to help me out with my classes. I struggled a little bit with math. They had the math center for that. I was able to get really connected with my professors. I'm so proud of our students. It's amazing to see the hard work that they put in and how much they can really achieve and grow. It's quite rewarding because our, our students are amazing, but a lot of times they're amazing and then they disappear. So getting to see them perform and shine, right? Just spread their wings and start to fly. It makes me very happy. It's the win, it gives you complete satisfaction in the work that we do. We don't have as many women as I'd love to see in STEM. So one way I think to encourage is just seeing other women in STEM. I'm a, one of the advisors of the Women in STEM Club here on campus. And so that supports women in STEM, like, hey, yeah, this is possible. And I think that's a key message for any young girl or boy that you can do STEM. MPC for me was a second chance. In high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't really pay attention in school. My grades weren't that good. And then like final year, I like kind of something clicked. I took anatomy and I really excelled in that class. So I took MPC really as a second chance so that when I transfer, I could show the schools that I really can excel in these classes. And then I found something I'm passionate about. The people here at MPC have been my biggest supporters. I knew nothing about like the scientific world and the field, but many of the professors that I knew pushed me to become a tutor here, to do this access program and do research and really like broaden my spectrum of what is out there inside the field. And without them and the support that they gave me, I don't think I would be standing here right now. After I transferred to a UC, whichever one that may be, I want to go to medical school actually. So my research focused on Vibrio cholera. Vibrio cholera is the bacteria that causes the disease cholera that really infects a lot of people in underdeveloped countries that like don't have access to the right medical care and so they sadly die from it. The teachers here are very, very passionate. They, they love what they do. You could tell that right away and they'll help you. They'll even go out of their way to help you whether it be like study or like just to encourage you and motivate you. What we really hear from our students is that it's been life-changing. They have never expected that either two weeks of eight weeks of doing research, working with outside folks or working with their own peers would generate so much positive enthusiasm for them to continue their careers in STEM. And we really appreciate that because that's the whole goal of the HSI STEM grant to create a STEM community, a STEM academic community, and a familia here at NPC.